initially, the, the very first reason for wanting to come here in the first place does stem back to that kayaking trip with my dad. I was about 15 at this point, and again, didn't know the consistency of, of the dolphin sightings in the area. So we launched a sea kayak from Newquay Beach and within five minutes had a mum and calf bottom of his dolphin pop up alongside the kayak. And, and yeah, that was, that was a magical experience to get to see them that close for the first time uh, and be that low on the water uh, with them next year. That was when I fell in love with Newquay. Uh, my name's Josh and I've been living in Newquay since 2019. I first came to Newquay to intern with the Sea Watch Foundation, monitoring the bottlenose dolphins here in Cardigan Bay. So my name is Catherine Loringal and I'm the monitoring officer for the Sea Watch Foundation. Uh, I've been working in this position for about 10 years now. <laughs> Bottlenose dolphins are, I think, a very interesting species. Um, what I find very interesting about them is that they are widely known around the world, but a lot of people don't actually know a lot about them. And so the general public's perception of bottlenose dolphins tends to be more on the flipper side than on the sort of scientific side. So the code of conduct we have here in Yuki is a code which tells people how to interact with wildlife in a way that minimizes disturbance. The reason why boat disturbance is an issue is that it can disrupt the animal's behavior, which is obviously something we want to avoid because Yuki is a very important habitat for them. It's a really good experience to have a close encounter with animals, but it should always be on their terms. So this is the largest population of bottlenose dolphin in the UK. So incredibly important area for them. For the most part, they're a coastal species of dolphin, so they have a preference for this more sort of sheltered water that Cardigan Bay offers. And then there's lots of fish here. So not only is it really fruitful hunting grounds for them, but it's safe in that respect as well. I consider myself to be a wildlife enthusiast with a camera. For me, it's always the wildlife that comes first. So I think it's good uh, to, to be able to highlight what's here that people otherwise wouldn't get to see, to live vicariously through it. In the past, from stationed up here, I've been able to watch dolphins chasing a big shoal of fish into the shallows below us. Uh, again, just such a good vantage point. So this is my first trip out from Newquay since August, so it has been quite a while. It's nice to be back. These are quite choppy conditions, there's a, there's a fair bit of swell. The last couple of days have been absolutely perfect, flat, calm, but you never know what you're going to get, it's heavily dictated by the wind. It's good to keep an eye on bird activity, and if there's a good source of fish, then you never know what else might be feeding on it, hopefully dolphins in this case. More dolphins coming in from afar as well. Here we go, come, coming in on the waves now. Makes it worth fighting the waves to get a, a view like this. <laughs> Dolphins are bow riding us, so as we're going through the water, we're displacing the water, creating a little pressure wave that they then like to come over and ride along with. So they're effectively socializing with the boat. Nice. 
Go on, get your fins out. Go on. Oh, beautiful. Definitely a very distinct looking fin. Six, at least six. Amazing. Just swam out behind us there. That was a good find. Makes the waves worth it. The dorsal fin, which is that big fin on their back, it's unique to each individual, whether it be shape, size, coloration, scars or marks, it will create a naturally occurring individual profile like our fingerprints. So you can see on, on this one here, for example, you can actually see how spaced out that is. That's a rake mark from another dolphin. So they bite each other, they rake each other with their teeth and that causes these markings. Bottlenose dolphins are known to be quite aggressive to other species. Bottlenose dolphins have the best PR team in the world because everybody thinks they're cute, cuddly animals. It is good for people to be aware of the power that they have and the, the potential harm that they could cause. There should be a healthy respect of these animals. I do feel the ocean itself has an impact on my life. I don't live in Newquay, but I see the ocean every day and I feel better when I've spent some time out on the ocean, very much like people hiking in the forest, and that's what the ocean does for me. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, what do you do in the winter if you don't go on the boats? And the answer is, we analyze the data, which is actually the most important part of the job in, in many ways. And that's always something that surprises people. We're not on the boat every day. Bottlenose dolphins live in what we call a fission fusion society. So they form short associations with each other and then they change on an hourly to a weekly basis. I think when we have the big groups that are socializing with each other, that's always the most interesting. Um, you get a lot of variety in the behavior you see and seeing how they interact with each other is always great to see. Last week, we had two very large encounters of about 40 bottlenose dolphins in one big group. count because we've got lots one two three four five six seven just on the bow sometimes you can actually hear them whistle through the bow oh my gosh she's literally Hi. going in circles around us um ah oh geez they're spread out everywhere now which you know it's not a bad thing to have too many dolphins We've had big groups before, but like not so close together. Usually when we have this many, they're just like spread out everywhere. Poor cameras are taking a beating today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, that was a lot of fins. <laughs> okay, keep going. 
Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Insanity. Obviously dolphins are very charismatic, which means they're really good animals as sort of a flagship species. And because everybody loves dolphins, then the waters around here are protected. But there's so much more being protected other than the dolphins. Bottlenose dolphins may not be what you expect them to be. They may not be flipper. And they might not save you if you're being threatened by a shark. But they are very intelligent animals. They have very complex social interactions and they are worth preserving for what they are, not necessarily for what we want them to be.